In this video, you will learn how to make your own home automation system. With this system, you can control all your home appliances from wherever you are in the world if you have an internet connection and a smartphone. Hello guys, I'm Azhar and in this video, I will show you how to make your own home automation system using Node MCU. So for this, I will use this Node MCU. A uh, four channel relay module, a breadboard, a uh, USB cable for this Node MCU, and another USB cable. Here we have another USB cable connected with the two jumper wires. Here they are female jumper wires at the output. So I will show you its use later. So, first, what will I do? I will place this Node MCU in my breadboard right and we have here as you can see four n pins here n1 n2 n3 and n4 right and uh, we will connect them to here you will see d1 d2 d3 and d4 pins of this module so for this uh, i will use these male to female jumper wires here I'll connect them like this our red wire is connected to D1 and our orange wire to D2, yellow wire to D3, and green wire to D4, and the blue wire to 3.3 .3 volt spin of the node MCU. Right, and I will connect this D1 pin to N1 here, this D2 pin to N2, D3 to N3 and d4 to n4 like this you can see here i have connected the pins and we have this 3.3 .3 volt pin so i will connect it to the vcc of the relay module like this you can see now as you can see uh, in our node mcu we do not have any 5 volts pin so for this what will I do? I will connect this USB cable, uh, which have two wires. They are supplying us five volt and these two wires. So with this USB cable, I will uh, supply this relay module five volts. So for this, as you can see here, we have a jumper with the JD VCC and VCC. So I will remove this jumper and uh, this wire and this wire is the positive of this usb here so i will connect this positive to the j d v c c pin like this right and i will connect the ground pin to here this ground like this so now our module will get five volts from our uh, supplier in which we will insert this USB so here our connections are done now let's uh, move into the Arduino IDE and let me show your code and upload it to this node MCU so now let's connect our board I'm connecting it to my laptop our board is connected let's go to tools and select our port so it's connected to Comsex. Now let's uh, look into our code. So here, this is our code. We have included the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library, and here this is the SSID, which is the name of your Wi-Fi. Here in my case, it is Nokia 5, and this is the password of your Wi-Fi. In my case, it is this one. And now we have um, the variables uh, R1, R2, R3, and R4 for relay 1, relay 2, relay 3 and relay 4 and relay 1 is connected to D1, 
and relay 2 is connected to D2, relay 3 to D3 and relay 4 to D4. Now we have created a server and after that we have begun the communication and we have declared the all the relay pins as output pins and we have made it high as you know that relays are off on digitally high and relays are on on digitally low right so if we give a high uh, signal means that for example we give it a one which is a five volt so the relay will be off when we give it zero volts so the relay will be on so this is the logic now after that we have begin the wi-fi if uh, we are checking if the wi-fi is connected if it is connected so it will print wi-fi connected after that we will start the server and we will get the ip address here after that we will check the client it is available we will check the response from our app so for this if the response is this one so it will uh, turn on the relay one after the response is this so it will turn off the relay and uh, it is for all of the relays right so it is about code let's load it to our board So it is uploaded now. Let's have a look uh, on to our application. Hey, this is our app. It's an Android app. I have made it on uh, MIT App Inventor. And here we have buttons like this for eleven. I have named it device one. The, on this button, click the device one will on means that eleven will turn on. And on the click of this button, the eleven will turn off. Same is the case with uh, device 2, device 3 and device 4. This, so this is the front end of uh, this application. Now let's have a look at the back end. So here this is the back end. We have this for button 1. And this will send some data to our board through Wi-Fi. So the link for uh, this app and code will be in the description. I will also add the project file of this app. You can edit on according to your needs. And after this, I will go to my Arduino ID and I will open this serial monitor here. The board rate is 9600. And I will click on this reset button in order to get our IP. So here this is our IP address. You should have to copy this, right? And now what will I do? I will open the app. Here I'm using this uh, blue stacks. You uh, you will download the app into your phone and you will install it. Let me open this app. So here this is our app. I will uh, type that IP address here. And I have pasted it. This is our IP address. And before this, I will connect this um, external 5 volt to my laptop. Right? So now we have supplied it an external 5 volts. So for demonstration, I will use this motor here. I have this motor. And I have this. Uh, 5 volt power supply so for this how will i connect it this is its uh, pin right i have this connect so i will connect it we have two wires positive and negative here so how to connect it with the relay module here in the relay one module you can see we have three pins this is uh, the normally closed pin this is the common and this is the normally opened pin so I will connect the positive terminal of this power supply to the common like this. You can see here 
I have connected it to the common of the relay one and I will connect the positive of my motor to the normally open pin. I have connected it. Like this, I will right. Now we have this uh, negative wire here, and we have the negative wire of our motor. So I will connect them directly, like this. So now our wiring and everything is done. Now let's click on this device on button so as you can see our motor is starting if i click on this device one off button it is stopped and here look at these lights the n1 n2 n3 and n4 it will light up when our uh, relay 1 is on so the N1 will light up and if our relay 2 is on so the N2 will light up and if relay 3 is on so the N3 will light up and if relay 4 is on the N4 will light up right so now let's click on device 1 on so our mode is start rotating and you can see here the N1 light has turned on now if I click on device 2 on so as you can see here our N2 light is turned on and if I click on device 3 on so as you can see here the N3 light is turned on and if I click on device 4 on so as you can see here our N4 light is turned on so all of these four layers are on now now if I click on off device 4 off so as you can see the light of device 4 n4 is off here and if i click on device 3 off so as you can see the light here is turned off and if i click on device 2 off so as you can see here our light and n2 is turned off and if i click on device 1 off our motor and the light here is also turned off now let's uh, test it with a uh, power bank so i will remove it from my laptop right and i will use a power bank for this i have this power bank it has two ports so it is connected now here that's wet for some seconds so that it gets connected to the network and here if you have changed the Wi-Fi network so you will change the IP address over here and you can check the IP address and the serial monitor here as it is not available now so it is not showing but it will be SAM if the Wi-Fi is SAM so now let's click on device on as you can see our motor is rotating and the LED here is on right now if I click on device 2 on the LED here and 2 is also on now if I click on device 3 you can see it is also on and if I click on device 4 it is also on here so with this home automation system you can control your home appliances from wherever you are in the world if you have an internet connection and a smartphone so it was all about this i hope that you will have liked this video if you like it so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel so and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you